Hello, everybody. Got my baritone voice on. Caught a cold. Went to, uh, it's winter time here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, 74 degrees in the shade outside right now. So I've got my Michigan winter stocking cap on. And uh, I've been spending a lot of bedtime over the past three days. Trying to get rid of this uh, cold. The Gospel of John, third chapter, Nicodemus. Jesus and Nicodemus up here at the top. The kingdom. Sometimes we miss what's right before our eyes. Uh, if you're teaching a Sunday school class of 50 people, and 75% of them are retired and beyond their 60s, they're in their 70s, and maybe you have a few that have touched 80 or 81. What should you be teaching? Should you be teaching marriage and divorce? I don't think so. You've missed it. It's right before your eyes. You should be teaching getting ready to cross over to the eternal, heavenly kingdom. All right? In other words, the kingdom. And Nicodemus, if you're not born again of the Spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of God. See or enter the kingdom of God. And that's, and born of the Spirit, because this, that which is born of the Spirit is spirit, and the wind blows. So I've got my song, The Wind is Blowing. Okay? Born of the Spirit. That's the key to seeing the kingdom of God and entering the kingdom of God. Now, where do we go from there? Well, we go to the back side of my phone. So you can hear the guy that's whispering at you. And I explained this to a friend of mine who's getting ready to teach some young people the first seven days of creation or the first seven events. And I told her, when you get to the seventh day, God rested from his creation work. And he planned it out before his spirit moved. And then he spoke. He said, let there be light. The light was good. He divided the light from the darkness. And on the seventh day, he rested from his work. Well, if you rest, you're in the peace of God. If you're in the peace of God, God of peace, you're in his kingdom. You're in his spiritual kingdom of light that is good, truth life. Let there be light. The light was good. And that light that is good is truth life. And you can enter into God's rest and peace in the truth light. So, Light is spoken of in Ephesians. Peace is spoken of. He is our peace, who hath made both one and broken down the middle wall, the enmity, the enemy difference, the enmity between the Jew and the Greek. There is no difference between Jew and Greek. They're both humanity that need to be born of the Spirit to see or to enter the kingdom of God. And if you're teaching people in their late 60s, early to mid 70s, or you have a sister in a Bible class that's 87, don't be teaching marriage and divorce to the class. Teach them faith and hope in getting ready to cross over and lay down their human body 
and cross over to eternal life. The next life, there is a human body and there is a spiritual body. There is spiritual life. What is spiritual life? Living as a being without not needing air, without air. I breathe air, which I'm having a hard time doing because I've got a cold, okay, into my lungs. The oxygen attaches to blood. The blood moves, takes the air, the oxygen to my brain. Electrons, light, fires. Let there be light, let there be good light, truth light. And the light fires in my brain, and I can think a reason, have emotion, memory, will, know the will of God. Do you know you can find the will of God in text, the verse before and the verse after, the will of God, God's will. You can find four times in the first chapter of Ephesians and two more times in Colossians. For six times, you want to know God's will for your life, all right? That's to come and be ready to see and to enter his kingdom. He said, I go away to prepare a placing for you. And if I go away to prepare that placing for you, I will come again and gather you unto myself and take you above to the life you can live as a spiritual being, a light being, and live without having to breathe air. So, Nicodemus, you must be born of the Spirit, born a second time, born anew a second time. When it says born again, it's about the born, okay, again. But it's actually a second time anew of the spirit. It's the capital S spirit. It's the right righteousness. And he that is holy be holy still, holy hallowed still. Hallowed, sanctified, set apart unto God. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy name is sanctified and set apart. Thy name, thy authority thy power, thy light, thy glory, thy immortality dwelling in the light unapproachable by humanity. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. But when we're born of the Spirit, we are joint heirs. When we're born of the Spirit, we can see the heavenly kingdom of God in advance. When we're born of the Spirit, we can enter into the spiritual kingdom of God in advance while we're yet human beings breathing air. But if we're prepared to see and to enter, we cross over to immortality, dwelling in the light unapproachable by flesh and blood. We enter into eternal life, infinity, eternal power and glory of God the spiritual kingdom, the heavenly kingdom. Are you born of the spirit? Can you see, can you enter, or are you ready to enter the heavenly kingdom of God by crossing over to the next life? How about that teaching in nine and a half minutes? Love you. Bye.